guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm here with another beautiful delicious recipe for ours so as you can see i'm at the department store buying stuff for today's recipe i'm actually excited about this recipe i'll be showing you what we'll be needing to make this recipe First off, we'll be needing an inductor. I've had this inductor for a long time and we haven't used it. So yes, we'll be using it today. And then this Vivo pot I won from the department store. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to be using it to make today's recipe, which is hot pot. Eh, or you can call it sukiyaki. That's what we are making today. We're making hot pot at home. Yes you need exciting dishes during the weekend so yeah instead of rice and other things you can make something out of the norm which is hot pot so let's just go right in and prepare everything we need to make this hot pot okay guys so first up we're going to be preparing our fish ball so I, as you can see i'm washing the fish ball i'm prepping it you know prepping it <laughs> yeah so this is the fish ball and then this is our chicken fillet i would wash and cut it into little chunks yeah because we have a lot of people in this house <laughs> so cut it into little chunks and prepare it ready for us to you know cook it and then next up would be our shrimp Next up will be the shrimp. I'm going to wash the shrimp. Now, the shrimp can be prepared in two ways. You can either, either remove the scale or you can just leave it. I didn't remove it. I just left it for them to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can eat it like that. I actually like to eat the head of the shrimp because it's very juicy. Some people don't like it, so but I do. Uh, so after preparing the shrimp, next up will be preparing our mushroom. Yeah. For this hot pot, we used two types of mushroom we used our the normal mushroom and the other type yeah we used two types of mushroom and so for both mushroom you just cut off the hair like you saw me doing and for the other part the other type of mushroom too you would do the same that's just it if you if you want it to be smaller you can just cut into bits i think this is this is enough so see i cut off the bottom of this and then washed and you know kept it ready so the next thing i did was to prep my glass noodles yes i prepped my glass noodles washed it and then my cabbage so i just chopped the cabbage into two and separated them into little chunks you know easy easy chewable not you know your mouth won't be too full and then i washed it and kept it ready next up will be prepping my noodles now i made a very huge mistake by washing these noodles but i did because i don't want the whitey substance and the taste and then i prepared my garlic my ginger my pepper i also prepared my carrot my cucumber and um, my morning glory and i went ahead to slice my fish into little chunks and yes, we are ready and this is what the table looks like. Everything is ready. So next, I'm going to be showing you the sauces we used for this. As you can see, some of the things are not yet on the table, but this is what the table looks like. All right, so the first sauce is spicy suki sauce and this one is suki sauce. So I started by boiling my water and allowing it to boil. And then I added a little bit of suki sauce to the water for taste. Yeah, I don't like the blood water. They use uh, something that looks like a tea, but I'm using this. So I added my suki sauce and the other spicy suki sauce. And I allowed the water to boil. And next up will be adding my, my ginger, garlic, pepper, and then my fish my fish balls my mushroom and i allow it to boil before adding my veggies so on this table i have morning glory chopped morning glory 
mushroom to different mushroom, pepper, carrot, what uh cucumber, fish. So I added my morning glory, my mushroom, the two mushrooms, and my glass noodles, and uh, my noodle. As you can see, and then we're going to allow this to boil and ready to eat. So you can you can eat this with the suki sauce and spicy suki sauce together. You just dip and eat, dip and eat. This was a very delicious recipe and a good way to you know enter into the Saturday evening. So try this at home and tell me how you feel. Are you feeling like you're in a restaurant enjoying yourself? We really did enjoy this meal. Everyone was happy. Guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Bye. Until next time.